Welcome to the first video in a series of video explaining the snippet attributes for pavement tri-mesh design. It's under our road toolbar. You can select snippet pavement attributes. This is an external file that is then referenced inside your design MTF. The reference styles are available. There's up to 10 different styles. And under each style we have a pavement curb type, pavement only, and or pavement batter. Under each of these, there are zones. So under here, we can then set up another up to 10 zones. And under each zone, there is again up to 10 layers that, ca that can be defined. <coughs> For the reference style, you can give a description name of the, of the style and uh, then some names that are used in the uh, creation of the uh, layers in the MTF file and the subsequent models. So in this case here we have a, uh, a uh, name for the um, uh, tri-mesh prefix, the word mesh, and for the strings, mesh strings, the model name or the layer name inside the MTF file is called pavement. So for this tri-mesh um, model here you'll end up with a model called mesh pavement and then possibly some uh, other additional uh, suffixes that are part of the, um, uh, the snippet in the design MTF. For subgrade strings we have the word sub, so it'll be sub pavement and there's also a, an offset here uh, for the tin surface for vertical walls. It's under pavement curb, the, the, here we have a pavement curb profile, um, so the zone which normally would specify some sort of name that the that would uh, the would describe the zone that you're using and layer one for the pavement curbs uh, is always the curb profile so in that case here this is the uh, the uh, yellowy looking curb profile so we give it a description name all this inf information is purported in the in the string inquire and also as uh, uh, attributes so the name for the trimesh, here we're just trying to keep a nice simple name, uh, in this case uh, uh, curb. The depth is measured from the uh, link name, normally the lip of curb, down, and it's a minus 0 0.2, which is the depth of the curb at the lip. There's a offset command behind the back of curb. Okay, this is a global offset for any subsequent pavements. And then there's a color, and this is a color of the trimesh as seen in plan and on section views. And there's also another colour here that's the colour of the tri-mesh end view as seen in the perspective view. So layer number two is, is uh, traditionally the asphalt or wearing surface layer. And here we get a game, we give it a name, a depth, minus 50 mil, and uh, it has some inner offsets. And uh, in this case here, we may look at a, uh, a inner offset. This is the outer. So any, any offsets that you do uh, specify here, are relative to the actual link and they're positive away from the reference line and negative towards the reference line. That is the same for left and right side. Um, drop down to our layer 3 and again we give it a name, uh, a, a, a unique colour. Uh, there's also an option to create subgrade strings for triangulation. In that case here the subgrade strings that created would be just this string here and that one there and again for on the, on the right hand side and they can then be triangulated through a, a feature that we'll discuss in a subsequent video. So then to add a, a layer is simply just a matter of going add and picking a layer and filling in information about that layer. So for pavement only, pavement only is, um, uh, doesn't have a curb or any, any um, uh, option like that. So it'd be used for doing concrete footpaths, um, uh, pavement only for right turn lanes, possibly for table drains, rock protection, those sorts of things. Um, so again, for the pavement only, um, it doesn't have a curb layer. Layer 1 is, is straight away whatever sort of pavement you're having, or in this case here, concrete footpath. And again, it's got a, a, a layer description, a, um, a name, uh, and then a depth, and again, whether you're using inner and, off, uh, uh, inner and outer offsets. So layer number 2 is, in this case, just a base layer. <coughs> so for pavement batter, 
for the rural type roads and those sorts of things where you have a, a battle line. It could be a, um, a, a battle line on the edge or even a, a, a drain line between two carriageways. So the pavement batter, again, it, it has 10 zones and 10 layers for each one. Um, so layer number one, the wearing surface, and again, it has the uh, same for the inner and outer offsets. Um, for this type one here, for that layer number two, this is where you would introduce a, uh, an inner offset for this layer here to get the toothing. Um, so these attributes are all used in a, in a snippet in your design MTF file. So the start string or start uh, mode can either be a reference string, another lane line, or even a, 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 um, a cutback string on the existing road surface. And again, you specify the edge link and the battle line can be specified either by picking two links, uh, a name grade or a cross force slope that you may specify. There's also an option in the snippet to form a cutoff edge for your um, uh, batter pavement. So basically when you want to add a new one in, you can simply just go to reference style, add in a reference style, and again then go through and select which one, one you want. So I add in here, I now go add, and I can choose between pavement curve, pavement only, pavement batter. Again, I have to fill in some details in relation to that. <coughs> so the um, uh, idea is to create up uh, as many different styles and layers as you want. So even if you have um, pavement type changes down the road, uh, they can all be uh, uh, categorized under a zone. And then if you have um, uh, different styles, if that gets uh, a little bit too hard or too many different types of uh, pavement changes. Um, so any changes, you go set. So again, the, the design MTF file will access this uh, pavement style and zone number. Uh, you'll be asked for those in the actual uh, um, placement of the snippet. Once you've filled out what you want and change, you can go on to use a beta pavement and you can read and write the pavement management attributes. So in that case there, you can just go and give it any name that you want and position it anywhere in user libraries and so forth and then you can read those and write those um, uh, styles in and out of 12D. Um, so you can now look to the next video where we use the uh, uh, pavement um, attributes in the snippets for uh, subdivision roads, um, uh, widening and overlays and construction. Thank you.